Hey everyone, we're making a charge jump ability, which will be going over some various topics including camera shakes, using timers, changing the player's FOV, and much more. All assets used in today's video will be in the description, free to download for following along. Alright, let's set up the assets, first being our camera shake. Create a blueprint class, we're going to use a legacy camera shake, and set the following settings. Duration to negative 1. Blend in time, 0.2, under rotation oscillation, pitch and yaws amplitude to 1, frequency to 70. Now in location oscillation, X and Z's amplitude is going to be 1, and frequency to 90. Next, set up our overlay animation. Import the animation, use SK Mannequin for our skeleton, and use local additive mode and selected frame using mm idle before doing the animation blueprint we need to add some variables to our character for our system a boolean jump charging another boolean jump input two vectors maximum jump velocity and current jump velocity then three float values charge rate desired fov and finally fov and terp speed now inside our animation blueprint in the event graph replace cast and the variable to third person character out of character, get charging jump, create a float variable, jump charge alpha, and set this in the graph. Add a pin to the sequence and connect it, add an F and terp2. The current pin being the original variable, target pin uses charging jump to a select node to pick the value, A being 0.5, delta seconds is world delta seconds, and 2 for the interpolation speed. In the animation graph, add our overlay animation, then a play additive node. Main states as the base, additive being the animation. Use jump alpha for additives alpha. Now back in our character, let's prepare some macros. First macro, reset jump velocity. Set current velocity variable. Split the pin, use jump z velocity from movement component for the z value. Our last macro, can charge jump. Get the movement mode from character movement into a switch node. Normal and nav walking will plug into the output. This will be our true route. Every other mode plugs into the output as one route being false. Now on begin play, add our reset jump velocity macro. Next on event tick, set the field of view from follow camera. Add F in terp2. Current pin is the original field of view variable from follow camera. Target pin is our desired FOV variable, which is default is 90. Delta time is world delta seconds. Nodes interp speed is our FOV interp speed variable, which its default value is 5. Now on event landed, set our FOV to 90 and set our interp speed to 3. Next is our main system, which first up is a custom event, attempt charge jump. Add our can jump macro, then off true, set jump input to true, then reset velocity. Next, a retriggable delay set to 0.3. After that, a branch, jump input as condition. Off that branch, set charging jump to true with a timer by event next, which you set to looping and its value being 0.01. .01. This timer is how we'll make the jump stronger for as long as we hold the jump input. It works similar to the event tick, except has a specified time before you run the code again. Promote its return value to a variable so we can reference it later. After that, set FOV to 70, then set interp speed to 1. Next, get our camera manager and add start legacy camera shake with a 0.1 scale, and then set the class to the one we made. Now, create a new event off timer, charge jump velocity. Add branch, charging jump as condition. Next, get max and current velocity variables. Check current is exactly equal to max and use as a condition for a branch. If it's true, clear and invalidate the timer. This disables the node, stopping it from running slash looping until the event is called again. If it's false, set current jump velocity, get current velocity and add it using our charge rate. Charge rate is 50 by default. Now we need to make a clamp function so we can increase that vector value without it getting larger than the max we want. Add two input vectors for value and max and output vector return value. Split all these vectors, then plug in value x and max x from the input pins into the first clamp node, doing the same process for the following clamp nodes, then using their return values for the output return values. Set to peer in function settings, which removes these routing arrows you find, for example, on a branch node or set node. Now the function acts like, for example, a get owner node, only having input and outputs. Get our function in the graph, Plug in the previous code into value, add maximum velocity to the max input, 
plug return value into set current velocity, and connect it up to the branch. Next is our event for when we release the input to jump after holding. A custom event attempt jump. First, a branch using charging jump as condition, then set charge jump to false. After that, a launch character using current velocity for the velocity input. Set FOV to 110. Set interp speed to 4. Stop all instances of shake. Use our camera shake class. Delay of 1. Set FOV to 90. And then set interp speed to 2. Back to the initial branch, if false, add the default character jump function. Finally, off the default jump input included inside the character, add attempt jump and set jump input to false on completed. Then add attempt charge jump to started. And there we go, we've now got a charge jump ability. Feel free to customize and expand upon this in your own projects. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you'd like to support me, I have a Patreon where you can become a member and get access to all tutorial project files. Thank you for watching, see you next time.